103 people. All right. Hello and welcome to a Mool live cooking session. I'm Kunchi Bharani and I will be talking about myself and introducing myself a little later. But let me first introduce the recipe that I'm going to be making today. So I'm going to be making a delicious bread pudding today with a wide variety and range of Amul products. And it's super simple. It's my go-to recipe when I have to make a dessert uh, for multiple people. It's super quick, very less ingredients, and uh, the prep time is also very easy. So I will introduce myself a little later when I have uh, some time while uh, the pudding and everything is cooking. Meanwhile, let's get on with the dessert. All right, so first I'm going to start with boiling uh, 500 ml of milk. So I have Amul Taza here. That's two and a half cups. Let's start boiling this. While the milk comes to a boil, I'm going to quickly mix a few more ingredients. That is, just take another tablespoon of milk into a cup. And into this, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of custard powder. This is the eggiest recipe and it tastes delicious. Please post in your questions, any queries regarding the recipe. I will be answering them. So just a tablespoon of custard powder. Make sure you mix this at, um, to, into the milk. That is at room temperature or even cold is fine, but not into hot milk. Some friends are saying they're happy to see you live. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so this is done. Once the milk comes to a boil, I'm going to add a moon mitai made. So they come in these uh, few small cans as well. So I'm going to add in 100 grams of this mitai made or condensed milk. Can you use corn flour? Yes, you can use the same quantity of corn flour just in case you don't have a custard powder. So let this milk come to a boil. Is it vanilla custard powder? It is vanilla custard powder. It has to be neutral. Then of course, uh, if you want to flavor this uh, recipe, and uh, add in whatever other flavors of fruits or any kind of essence or even fresh fruit pulp, you can do that. It's a very, very uh, easy recipe that you can make. You can dress it up or dress it down. You can make it gourmet or you can just make it a nice, hel uh, not a healthy, but a delicious recipe to eat which just gets ready in a jiffy. So it's super easy. Instead of mitai made, can you use milk made? Uh, yes, this is the same thing. It's condensed milk. It's just uh, Mithai made is a Amul brand. So it's basically the ingredient is condensed milk. The milk is starting to boil and now I'm going to add in 100 grams of condensed milk. Next, just let it boil for two minutes. After that, we're going to add in the custard powder. Just keep stirring because there are chances that uh, it's going to stick to the bottom or overflow. So make sure you keep stirring it. Somebody joined in late. They want to know the name of the recipe. The name of the recipe is bread pudding and this is the eggless one that I'm making. So I am Chef Ruchi Bharani 
and um, I run cooking classes and I've been doing that since the last 15 years now and now since the lockdown we have also gone online so since the last 3-4 months I've been taking online cooking classes and uh, also I am a YouTuber I feature on the channel called Rakshi Food for Rakshi Productions uh, you can just google Rakshi uh, Food and you will get all the details I have over uh, 600 episodes online till now so you can follow me on YouTube as well or if you have any queries or anything you can always uh, DM me at Chef Ruchi Prani on Instagram and I can always answer your query. So the milk was starting to overflow that's why I turned off the flame. Into this I'm going to add in the custard powder. Somebody is asking if you could use sugar uh, instead of milk, milk made. Yes, you can use sugar instead of milk made. You will have to use about 5 tablespoons of sugar instead of milk made. Custard powder goes in. I'm just going to turn on the flame again. We need you to be a little bit louder. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Boil this for a good 2-3 to three minutes. Let the milk thicken in a little bit and then uh, we will turn off the flame. Keep stirring because as it thickens it's going to get stuck to the bottom so just make sure you keep stirring, stirring, stirring now at this point for sure. Reduce the flame. The milk looks and the custard powder should be cooked by now. So I'm going to turn off the flame and add in a couple more ingredients. So I'm just to add in and give it more richness, I'm going to add a tablespoon of fresh cream. Just a tablespoon. Gives it a good body and texture. Also a teaspoon of butter. Into this, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of vanilla essence. So your milk base or your custard base for the bread pudding is ready now. Uh, someone joined in late. They wanted to know what we're making. We're making bread pudding and it's super delicious. <laughs> and how much milk you used? I used uh, two and a half cups of uh, milk. That is 500 ml of milk. So let it cool down for a couple of minutes. So I'm just going to keep it aside. And how much cream did we use again? I just used one tablespoon of cream. So let me just uh, quickly um, tell you the ingredients. I've used two and a half cups of milk, um, one teaspoon of butter, one tablespoon of cream, and 100 grams of condensed milk or methane. All right? And one tablespoon of vanilla essence. All right, so now I'm going to use some pow, okay, bread for this recipe. It is important that you use a pow or you use a, a whole bread loaf uh, for this recipe. Don't uh, try and avoid using sliced bread because they're comparatively much thinner and they like totally melt and not even hold any kind of shape while baking. So try not to use sliced bread. Use a loaf bread, use pow if it's one or two days old even better because at least it dries out a little bit and then it hold a little bit of shape. And uh, 
So whether you use pow and uh, French loaf or even baguette is fine. Uh, you can cut them into you know cubes. Slice bread, you won't be able to cut them into like decent one inch size cubes. So let's just cut. Um, question was, did you use amul salted butter? Yes, I used it, uh, used amul salted butter because uh, the little hint of salt uh, brings out the sweetness in a dessert. So I used the salted butter. So I'm just chopping them into one inch pieces. oven for about say six to seven minutes and uh, they become nice and crispy uh, but if you don't want to do that you want to avoid doing that you could always skip that step so now this goes into the milk any more questions do we have to this stage now just about ingredients again whether you use custard powder yeah so i use custard powder instead of that you can even use corn starch. Can you use wheat palm? You can use wheat palm. But if you're using wheat palm, then you make sure you bake, chop them up and bake them in the oven for at least about six to seven minutes. And then use your wheat palm. You can add it to your milk. Let's add these bread pieces. So this recipe is hardly anything. It literally will take you 10 minutes to do all of this and 20 minutes to bake. So what you can do is you can just do the entire prep work. Uh, you can uh, pour the whole pudding into your bake dish and prepare it in advance. And whenever you're ready to serve, put it in the oven for 20 minutes and you're done. That's all you need to do. Can we maybe tilt the pan? Some people want to see sure. the pudding. Okay. So, this is how it looks. There's a lot of milk right now. But the bread uh, will absorb everything. And also, it will, um, while baking, it will dry out a little bit. How much pound did you use approximately? And the amount of custard powder again? Uh, the amount of custard powder is one tablespoon to one tablespoon of cold or normal room temperature milk, or uh, you could use one tablespoon of corn flour. So let this soak in for about two minutes, and then we're going to pour it in a baking dish. Everyone is staying home and staying safe. Please don't venture out too much these days for some more time. So that's why I think all of us have become very, very tech savvy and we have moved online. It's even fun for me to, you know, um, have these online classes. They are much more uh, easier as well as, uh, you know, very convenient as well. You can just do everything at your home. One big baked dish and pour your entire bread uh, pudding into that. But what I've done for presentation, I've put a batch in the oven to bake and I've made them into these small ramekin bowls. That is many individual ramekin bowls I made them in. And now I'm just going to dress this up a little bit. Uh, you could, if you get berries, you get raspberries uh, during the strawberry season. You can chop up some strawberries and put them in. 
peaches are very much available right now so you can use uh, peaches as well or else just stick to your dry fruits and nuts so i have some uh, dried cranberries so i'm just going to put some as well as some chopped almonds uh, make sure to roast the almonds uh, slightly in the microwave or a pan or something Can you add mango? Yes, you could add mango, but then just add the mango um, after you have finished baking your uh, uh, pudding, because you don't want the mango to go into the oven and bake. Uh, unless you're adding mango pulp, then you could just mix it uh, with the milk, but let the milk completely cool down. You will also need to increase the quantity of custard powder if you're adding any kind of fruit pulp, so that it becomes nice and thick. So boil the milk, add the custard powder, everything else. And then let it cool down slightly, and add some mango pulp into it, and then dip your bread in it. So that's how you would do it with any kind of fruit pulp that you want to use. You could even drizzle a little bit of jam or anything after it's done to just give it some color and all. Right now, I've just put in some almond pieces. People are wondering if you could repeat the recipe again. Of course, I can repeat the recipe again. Why not? So I started with boiling. 500 ml of milk, that is half a liter of milk, or two and a half cups of milk. After that, once the milk comes to a boil, I added one tin or 100 grams of milk meal or methyl meal. Mix that, bring it to a boil. Mix one tablespoon of corn flour or custard powder to one tablespoon of milk and stir it in the hot milk. Keep boiling it for a good two to three minutes and then keep boiling it for another two to three minutes and then let it cool down. After that, I added one tablespoon of fresh cream and uh, one teaspoon of butter. Okay. Also one tablespoon of vanilla extract or vanilla essence. So that is the base of the milk that is prepared for this recipe. After that, you add in three pounds chopped into one inch cubes or you add in one whole, uh, whole bread loaf chopped into one inch cubes. So I've done that and then I've just dressed it up with some almonds, some, uh, I had some dried uh, cranberries and blueberries. So I put those and some pistachios. So I'm just going to slightly dip or cover the dry fruits and the berries with the milk so that they don't burn while they are cooking, you know, for 20 minutes in the oven. People are saying it already looks yummy. <laughs> just me, it's going to taste delicious. It's a super favorite. You can even... Um, Make it with cocoa powder. You can add in a tablespoon of cocoa powder while you're boiling the milk and make it chocolate flavor as well. Uh, you can even drizzle some toffee sauce or caramel sauce and dress it up, you know. So this base is the most important thing and then what you do on top is entirely your choice. Like caramel sauce, chocolate, um, even um, uh, jam, just simple fruit jam or drizzle of that. That would just work wonders or just some chopped up uh, fruits that would also just work wonders. So now this needs to go. So you can just do the entire prep like this and keep it ready. And whenever you're ready to serve, just preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit and uh, for 10 minutes. And then put in your baked dish and let it bake for a good uh, 20, 15 to 20 minutes. That should be a good amount of time. Can you use cornflakes or oats? You could use cornflakes or oats, no problem. Slightly roast, uh, not cornflakes, but oats is fine. So you could uh, slightly roast your oats and grind it into a powder and then mix it with the milk and add it while you're boiling. And then you have to probably cook it for a little longer than uh, the custard powder. So maybe about five to six minutes. And then you add in your bread and everything. So that will also work as a good uh, thickening agent as well. And somebody's asking if you can use Hershey's syrup. 
you can use Hershey's syrup. Uh, you can add it in the milk or you could just drizzle it after the bread pudding is done. And somebody wants to let you know that they love your cooking methods. Oh, thank you very much. And that thank they have so literally much. learnt everything they know about cooking watching your videos. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have like a lot of videos online so you can always check that out. And right now I'm just enjoying staying home and teaching and working at the same time. So it's good fun right now. Can you avoid Mithai Mate altogether? Uh, you can avoid Mithai Mate. You can add about 5 tablespoons of sugar instead in half a liter of milk. And if you do use oats, how much powder? Oats powder? Uh, you'll have to use about 1.5 tablespoons of roasted oats powder. Alright, so now this goes into the oven. I'm sure the other one is also almost done. Do we have any more questions? Yes, a couple more. Um, what can you do if you don't have an oven? What can you do when you, if you don't have an oven? Then just mix your bread. Uh, you can take a tin instead of taking a glassware, uh, an aluminium or a cake tin, and pour all your ingredients and everything into the cake tin. And then in a pressure cooker, uh, keep a stand, whatever you use in the pressure cooker. So place the stand, place your tin in, and uh, Cover it with the lid and make sure, please, please do make sure you do not put the vent valve over it because it's an empty pressure cooker, there's no water or anything and we don't want to uh, have an accident. So make sure you don't put the uh, vent valve. The ring is fine. So cover the pressure cooker and on low heat, let it um, preheat, like how we preheat an oven for 10 minutes. And after it's preheated for 10 minutes, just place your tin in, cover it and cook it for 20 minutes. And you should be okay. You get the same effect as what you get in a um, oven. To be very honest. And somebody wants to know the name of your channel again. Uh, the name of our channel is Rajshree Food. And if you would like uh, any more inquiries regarding my cooking classes, that you can DM uh, on Chef Ruchi Bharani at Chef Ruchi Bharani um, on Instagram. Alright, so I'm just going to put this in the oven and check on the batch which is uh, already been baking in the oven. So I shall be back in a minute. Yeah, this needs uh, a couple more minutes in the oven. Any more questions? Some more comments that you've I explained like the... Oven. You've explained the recipe very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Does anybody need, anybody is joined in late or needs, need more? No. Um, one person was wondering if we could go over the recipe again. And another one is waiting to see the baked version. Oh, okay. So uh, I'll just repeat the recipe since it's such a short and quick recipe. And those who haven't made a note of that, please do make a note. So I'll start very quickly again. So start with two and a half cups or 500 ml of milk. Into that, once the milk uh, comes to a boil, into that I'm going to add in 100 grams of condensed milk or mithai milk, mithai meat. All right. Cook it for another two to three minutes. Into that I just added one tablespoon of custard powder in normal milk or whole milk. Okay, that's the next step. Uh, let it boil for at least a good two to three minutes till you know the milk thickens slightly. Turn off the flame. And next, I added to give it some rich uh, richness to uh, the pudding. I added uh, one uh, tablespoon, just one tablespoon of fresh cream, as well as one teaspoon of amul butter, salted amul butter. Can the butter be avoided? Yes, you could avoid the butter, that's fine. Right? As well as one tablespoon of vanilla essence. So these ingredients make your base for your pudding. After that, I added three pows that I chopped up into one inch cubes. That's all. I dipped it in and then I dressed it up with some dried berries and some nuts. Okay. Okay. 
boil it up to and the batch which I've already uh, baked in the oven is ready. So let's just bring that out. Mm. So I'm glad I baked, pre-baked a batch. So now I have double to eat. Okay, so can you all see uh, the baked? One second, I'll just pick up a bowl and show it to you. It's really hot. Just straight on the oven. Once you see um, slight brown spots on the bread, Okay, that means it's done. And it has some berries also which are floating on top. And also what has happened is it, when it goes into the oven and cooks, it kind of, you know, plucks up like a souffle. So it looks really nice and it's super soft when you dig into it. So I'm going to dress this up even a little more with, I have some amul chocolate. So I have some dark amul chocolate. So I'm just going to roughly break it or chop it to grate it. You could put fresh fruits, whatever you like. Chocolate can go with anything. Any more questions or comments that I need to answer? Somebody wanted to know about your channel again and baking time and baking temperature. Yes, so uh, first with the uh, queries, that is the baking time and the baking temperature. So preheat the oven at 180 degrees uh, Celsius or at um, 350 uh, degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes. And after that, uh, you can uh, place in your tin or a baking dish or whatever. And uh, bake it for about 30 minutes, uh, 20 minutes. Oh, that's it. 20 minutes is good enough. Can you use compound chocolate? Yes, you could use compound chocolate. You could just, uh, you know, chop it up or grate it. It's just for garnish, so which is okay. And also about my channel now. So it's called Rakshi Food on YouTube. You could just type Rakshi Food or you could just type Ruchi Bharani and you will get in. Um, the link and a lot of episodes. Uh, every Monday, a new episode uh, releases. That's my episode which releases. And um, or for classes or anything, you can DM on uh, at Chef Uji Prani on Instagram. It looks really, really yummy. Quite Thank nice. Thank you so much. Sneha says she'll definitely try it. Please do try it because trust me, you're going to be in love with this uh, recipe because you can't have a delic delicious dessert so quick and easy to. Okay, you can even add bananas for that matter, you know, whatever fresh fruits are available, you could just slice up a few bananas also and they're tasty on it. And some chocolates and everything. So can everybody see it? Should I try and bring it a little in front? Without the oven, how long will it take? Without the oven, as I told you how to use it in the pressure cooker, it will take the same amount of time. It will take about 20 minutes in the pressure cooker without the wet valve and no water at all. But make sure you put a, a base or a stand or whatever you put in your uh, pressure cooker. And it will take the same amount of time, 20 minutes in the uh, pressure cooker. So without the oven also, that will be fine. Uh, you can serve this warm. You can serve it cold. Uh, you can put it in the fridge and chill it and have it. I like it warm. You could even serve it warm with a scoop of ice cream. That will also taste amazing. Uh, you could serve it cold with a scoop of ice cream and some plate of fruits and it just tastes heavenly. So your basic bread pudding is ready. You can dress it down, dress it up, everything, whatever you want to do, that's entirely your choice. So before I wrap up the session, is there anything more that you need to ask me or any comments that I need to um, 
people attempted to see it again. <laughs> That does look delicious. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. So it's a wrap. And this is Ruchi Bharani signing off. Thank you for joining in in this live session. I hope to see you all again. And see you. Bye-bye.